In order to make hyperlinks in HTML, you'll need to make use of the A tag. You can either do this by wrapping around a piece of text or maybe an image, for example. So let's make a simple example where we'll hyperlink a piece of text within our existing dummy text. So if I select around a piece of text in Dreamweaver, it's going to show me where that piece of text is in both the design view and the code view. And in the code view, what we'll do is just to maximize that by clicking on the code button at the top and then place in an A tag around the piece of text that we might want to link to, or rather link with, I should say. So if we wanted this to link to an external site, first of all, I'm wrapping it in an A tag. Then I'm going to place in a parameter called href, so hyperlink reference to a particular location or file. If I'm linking externally, I'll need to put the full web address. For example, I might link to apple.com like this. Then as it's an external link, another parameter I'd use was one called target, which I'd set to underscore blank. This forces that link to be opened in a new window, keeping your existing window open for the user so that you don't lose their attention or force them to click the back button. When I look back at my design, I can see that it's turned a particular color because I already have a rule in my style sheet for A. So any A tag in the entire site is going to be colored in that way. But what I might want to do is to design one for that specific part of the site. So what I can do is write a rule for A tags inside my section tag. So what I do is switch to my style sheet. I might find the particular area I'm discussing. So there's article section and then I might say article section A. So that's very specific to that area um, having links in that particular place. Then I might say color um, will make it really stand out with a nice bright orangey red and then I'll also say text hyphen decoration none in order to stop um, the rollover um, sorry in order to stop it being underlined by default then what I'll do is create another rule to handle the rollover which is going to be article section a colon hover and in that I will underline so I'll say text decoration underline and also change the color to something different so that people get that visual feedback. So if I test that in Safari, what I'll do is just to drag my file in there. So I'll find my file inside my folder, drag it in, and there's a schoolboy error. I can see that I haven't saved my file. So with index HTML, because I'm on the style sheet, I'd saved the style sheet, but I haven't saved the fact that I've placed an actual anchor tag into my HTML. So remember, these are two separate files and I need to save my HTML. So I'll make sure I'm on the HTML file or alternatively, I can use file save all to save both at the same time. Then when I check in a browser, there it is, my link is there and the rollover state changing to underlined and blue works. So that's hyperlinking. Equally, instead of uh, a full web address, I could have also placed in a link to a particular page. So I could link to another part of the site, such as contact.html. And then the target would be self to ensure that it opened in the same window. So the only other thing to mention as we're talking about hyperlinks is to mention an email link. Now, what you shouldn't ever do is to write in your email address and then make a link out of it because that places it in text and there'll be bots sending out spam that are looking for a word, an at symbol, another word, a dot, and another word. So these bots know that order of things and they deliberately trawl pages all day and night looking for those things in order to send you spam. So you don't want that to happen. So a common way to get around this instead of linking to a piece of text is to insert an image. So I've made an example of this in Photoshop. I've just made a small canvas and written the text in 
uh, as a graphic and I've saved this as a GIF file in my images folder. So there's email.gif there. So what I'm going to do is just simply insert that image and then I'll briefly show you the tag that it writes. So insert image, select my email GIF. I might write in the alternate text, email me now. And it's written an image tag. So an image tag uh, we'll talk about more in the next video. And it's basically a self-closing tag that has IMG as its basis. And it has a source for the location of the file and width and height. And then you should also always include an alternate text in order to explain what the picture is. So mine is just an email address, so I haven't had to go into much descriptive detail there. But what I am going to do is to wrap this in an A tag and then make that into a link to my email. So I'm going to say href and then say mail to M-A-I-L-T-O colon and then my email address. So that's just a made up one. Obviously you'd put yours in there. So mail to colon and then whatever your email address is goes in there. The other thing to mention is that when you place a link onto an image, it will give it a border. So what we just need to do to correct that is in our image tag, just say border equals zero. You could also do this with CSS. We could write a rule for all images and say that none of them have a border, but we could also do it in the HTML. So a couple of different approaches. So I'll save that and refresh my page and that is now a link to emailing me. So a couple of things to take away. Remember to style your links so they don't look the default color once you've linked them. Remember to set uh, underscore blank when you're linking externally and underscore self when you're linking internally. And then always put border zero if you're linking with an image, otherwise you'll get that nasty outline um, which you don't want. And never ever write your email address into the body text and link to it that way.